afternoon again. I am honored to be back here at the Sedona Forum. And of course, we are all grateful to the McCain Institute for advocating real practical solutions to local and global issues. As a leader, Senator John McCain often looked to President Theodore Roosevelt's example. Both Senator McCain and President Roosevelt were military veterans and men of action. Both believed that deeply that in a democracy, leaders can compromise with each other about ideas without compromising their values. The McCain Institute's In the Arena Award celebrates the, leader, the leaders who are doers and makers. This year's recipient, Verizon Chairman and CEO Hans Vestberg, who has been a great friend and partner to the state of Arizona, has been in the arena for years, building a global communications infrastructure that is moving society forward and leaving no one behind. Hans has made digital inclusion his professional and personal mission. Right now, 2.6 billion people around the world and tens of millions in the United States cannot access the digital services that many of us take for granted as part of modern life. For Hans, it's good business and good citizenship to make sure that everybody has that access. Hans, it's a pleasure to introduce you to the Sedona Forum and to be among the first to congratulate you for this achievement. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll leave it. We can leave it there. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a phenomenal pleasure to receive this in the Arena Award on behalf of uh, Verizon for our work with digital inclusion and personally as well, uh, a great honor. Um, as you can hear, I'm Swedish. I speak Swinglish as my, my children are telling me. Uh, that doesn't mean that I know all the work that Senator McCain have done, the impact and importance of do things. Uh, we share a lot of common visions of democracy, growth are important for every part of our society. Responsible business is something that I have been standing up for years in companies that I've been running, and most lately here at Verizon. Many of you know Verizon, probably half of you in this room is a customer, thank you so much. <laughs> 150 million wireless connections in the country, 11 million broadband customers serving basically all large enterprises as well as the government. I'm proud of the size of our company and the responsible business. I'm gonna talk about one thing that we're doing that I'm really proud of. Uh, we have a commitment of doing digital inclusion and, and, and reduce the digital divide in our country. Uh, we have a target of educating 10 million uh, students uh, with digital education. Uh, it's called Verizon Innovative Learning. We started with that some years ago. Uh, today we have 600 schools uh, that we're supporting. And we're not only giving them broadband, but because that's not enough. We give them a device and we train the teachers in a digital STEM uh, curriculum that we're giving to all these schools. We have, as I said, more than 600 schools today. We have invested more than $1 billion in education in the United States, uh, and as well as today, we have achieved 7 million students so far. So we have 3 million more to go. Uh, but for us, this is business, because ultimately, we do broadband in every community, we have basically infrastructure in every zip code of this country. We are, we are in the communities. These children, this youth that some of them actually started in, in, in middle school and have now graduated from college. They have been taking this journey with us. And we are, of course, going to the schools that are the most vulnerable, that don't have the economical means to actually invest in technology. Uh, so we have a couple of million left, but our commitment is relentless. We will continue to try to close the digital divide in the United States. Then during COVID, I also realized that if you're not connected, you cannot work. <laughs> you cannot get healthcare, you cannot get uh, 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 education. Um, and I've been fighting for years that that should be a human right, that everybody's included in our society. So I decided to, to actually embark on a journey uh, together with the World Economic Forum 
to try to get one billion people more connected on this earth. We started, as you heard the governor saying that there's still 2.6 billion people not connected on earth. There are three simple problems, simple, why they're not connected. Number one, accessibility to the technology, affordability and usability. And guess what? 90% of the 2.6 billion people on this earth that are not online are covered by some type of broadband or wireless connectivity. So the majority of the problems are usually sitting in affordability, meaning being able to buy a device if you're going to do education, or uh, the rate is too high. And ultimately, usability. We all love to maybe stream uh, services, etc., but that's not what we're talking about here. To be part of our society, you should be able to get digital education, healthcare, uh, financial inclusion. And that sh should mean that you are equal to anybody else. You have the same chance wherever you're born, wherever you live, whoever you are. That's the whole mission with that. So we embarked on that 2020, 2021 with the World Economic Forum. I decided for a goal of 1 billion people being connected, but only if it's in education, healthcare, or financially included digitally. Only those three, broadband is not enough. It actually has to be a societal improvement. Uh, today, we have 320 initiatives in 127 countries. All of them are public-private initiatives. It would be companies that you're very well known on, the largest company on earth, and the largest countries on, in the world has actually committed. Of the two and a half year, we have achieved 784 million people more connected on this earth. Yeah. That means that my mission still is a quarter left of that billion, and that I'm going to push through this year, I hope. And uh, then we're going to see what we're going to do after that. But for me, this has been a long, long life mission to see that we close the digital divide. I know we're not there yet, but everyone that is helping is important. And I also think that in a very polarized world that we have today, being, being able to grow, being able to have a job, being able to get education is vital to take away all those diversities I have in our society today. So on the behalf of Horizon, on the behalf of myself, I couldn't be more grateful and honored uh, to achieve this award. And I uh, thank the McCain Institute and everyone here. Thank you so much.